Glowstone would be nice, but I don't think I'll need it for anything, to be honest. Now, it spawned me in a very strange location. Usually it spawns you up on a, on a cliff somewhere. I can't tell if I'm at the top of the nether or the bottom of the nether, and I would check my F3, but I'm not sure how the F3 really works in the nether. I don't know if 42 is low or high. I mean, I'd, I'd assume it's not very high. I guess I'm at the bottom of the nether. I don't know how tall the nether is, I should say. But obviously it's not that direction, so let's try up here. See if we can't poke our head out and get to a better vantage point somewhere. I'd like to find some sort of lava lake. This looks like it goes up. Up, up, up. Parkour, parkour. Going up. Dead end. Not completely dead end, though, because I heard some fire. It's got to be around here somewhere. Come on. I hear the fire. Please tell me there's somewhere to be. Aha! Haha, <laughs> we did it. And right, now we just got to get down. Perfect. Leave the torches there. And actually, put some cobblestone here as well. Cobblestone looks so out of place in the nether, which is why it makes a great beacon. When I played on multiplayer servers, the nether was actually one of my specialties. Uh, I ran a shop, as you do, in multiplayer, and my shop was an all-things nether shop, essentially. I would go to the nether, have an expedition to the nether, and give my clients anything that I found. Like, they would tell me to go in and find stuff, because the nether is a dangerous place. And I think that's a fortress down there. It's just kind of hard to see in render distance. Now, there is a dangerous place. But, uh, but I was pretty good at it. Now, I think this is all soul sand down here. I don't know what soul sand looks like in this texture pack, but this is really... We'll find out. Yep, it's soul sand. Alright, nether bricks look kind of strange in this pack, too. Well, enough of that. Let's break in. In we go. To see what we can see. And I believe... Yeah, I can see that beacon from here, so let me just put another one... Oop. here to show it goes that way. That's not really much of an arrow, is it? Hang on. I'll just put... I was going to make an arrow pointing up, but I think I'll just do that. Just so I know where to go. Ooh. Here's some ghasts. I've got my arrows st stocked and locked. I'm ready. Hmm. 
The other thing we need to find is nether wart. Nether wart's going to be a little bit more difficult to find, I'm afraid. So back this way. And then... This way. If you're wondering what I'm doing here, these are making beacons, as I call them. Just so you can find your way back. Because you don't want to get lost in the nether. There we go. I had to concentrate for that one. I was afraid that was going to fall into the fire. Hello there, Wither. Oh, everything's okay. We're okay. You done did good, kid. Well, this is new. This is new. I didn't know that was a thing. Since when could you get loot from inside nether fortresses? I did not know that was a thing. Well, at least we found nether warts, and obviously there was a whole slew of, uh... Uh, what's a blinky sand? Soul sand out there, so... I hear another skeleton. I'm kind of worried. Iron horse armor. I don't really need any of this stuff. Just break that. I'm never going to come back for it, so... Alright, these look to all be dead ends. Okay, so what we do with dead ends... is... Well, not quite like that, but block them off. Dead end. Hello, zombie pig people. I mean you no harm. Oh, don't get caught in the crossfire. Don't get caught in the crossfire. Oh, jeez. That's the thing with fighting skeletons and pigmen at close proximity here. Oh dear. <sighs> okay, we're fine. I don't know why the pigmen got pissed off. I really don't. But I just hope there's no others that heard that. So I don't really want to get attacked. Got a gold nugget. That was close. <laughs> oh man, that was close. Whew. Okay. Got some gold. Okay, that's fine. This is another dead end. You know the thing I like most about the nether is that you never have to put down any torches if you don't want to because it's... There's a brightness level in the nether, bright enough to where you can see. It's kind of a strange thing. Huh, okay. Well, this entire place is just a big old dead end. But that's fine. We got, technically, we got what we came for. We, we have nether wart blaze rods, and I need to go get the, um... The, the Blinky stone not stone soul sand and there's more nether wart right there so let me go harvest that i could just grab all this boom 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 um i don't want to waste my my cobblestone it's kind of a rarer commodity down here in the nether just grab up all this. I don't think you can actually make a cobblestone generator when you're in the nether because um, you can't place water in the nether at all. So, all right. So this doesn't go anywhere either. To block it up, dead end doesn't have to be cobblestone. <gasps> the 
there's two. There's two. I'm withered. Okay. I cannot tell how many hearts I have. Skeleton. Got him. Okay, I think he dropped some coal. Should probably eat something, though. I don't want to be running around with five and a half hearts. More nether wart. Saddles don't stack. Okay. That's the way back. I think this is just a loop. Maybe. No? Going back outside. I'm not underground anymore. I thought that was a blaze for a second. I was like, yes! But no. I, I have one blaze rod. I would enjoy having more than one. But, you know, one is better than none, I suppose. I can at least make myself a potion brewing stand. It won't be... You know, I won't be able to make any ender eyes, but... Got something, at least. It's a start. This doesn't go anywhere. Another one of these staircase rooms. You know, I didn't check the back of the other staircase room. Sometimes they go places like this. I think this might just be a dead end here. Yeah. That's a dead end. With lava dripping through the ceiling. Some soul sand there, but it's not really worth getting with an entire sea of soul sand where I came from. Alright, so... What's up here, then? That's another zombie pigment. I don't know if they're still angry with me. That's the thing. i got to be careful. These zombie pigmen might be ticked off at me. I don't recall hitting the zombie, but I thought I just hit the skeleton. But, you know, they know if you tick them off or not. This looks to be a relatively small nether fortress, actually, but let me go back up to... Oh, that scared the crap out of me. I just hear the goo. <sighs> okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't know they could spawn in here like that. Oh, man. Oh, man, my heart just jumped. I'm okay. Okay, that didn't go anywhere. There's another one. Gotta be ready. Alright, buddy, I'm ready. I know you're here now. Where are you, around this corner? There you are. Come get some. Yeah, that's what I thought. Whew. Okay. Moment of truth here, walking by the zombie pigman. Are we cool? We cool? I think we cool. There's a baby zombie pigman over there. Alright, so that entire wing of the nether fortress is now checked out completely. Ooh, ooh hi. <laughs> Sorry there. Alright, this is a bust as well. Water fl or lava flows like water in the nether. Uh, and I'm not just saying that because it's everywhere. I'm saying that because it flows eight blocks in uh, in the overworld. Don't you randomly attack me. I thought I heard, like, footsteps. In the overworld, lava will flow four blocks. And, la and uh, water will flow eight. Sorry, I just heard a ghast. 
or not a gas, blaze. There they are. That's a blaze spawner. Okay. Nope. 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 All of the nope. All of the nope. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Okay. Come on down here, buddy. Oh, good. Magma cube. I don't want the... Here. I don't want the uh, pigmen to get ticked off at me because of the blazes. I don't know if that's what happened last time. <gasps> oh. Don't scare me like that, pig. You are welcome to be here. <laughs> Stay full up on food here. Oh dear. Alright, I'm not sure if these spawners are affected by light or not. Apparently not. I don't like being on fire. Then again, I don't know of anybody who does. Except for Krieg. Well, this is actually probably the best position I could be in here. A spawner that is completely under, like, enclosed areas. Maybe they are effective by light, because nothing's spawning now. Either way. Nope, 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 all of the nope, all of the nope. Get out of here. Spawn in when I'm not looking. Jerk. Either way, this appears to be a good place to, uh, to farm for these guys. If I could get maybe one more blaze rod, that would be nice. What I really need is a magma cream so I can easily farm these guys. With magma cream, you can make a fire resistance potion. But to get magma cream, I either have to kill a magma cube or... Um, oh, hi. You want to come down? I either have to kill a magma cube ooh, or combine blaze powder with a slime ball, but I haven't seen any slimes either, so I don't really have a good choice either way. Alright, I think I'm out of here. I'm just going to grab me a little bit more soul sand. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. 48, 50, oh, 50, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. I did it. Okay. Let's get back. I've got everything I came for, except for, uh, well, I guess I added to the list. I added magma cream. But I don't really know where or if there's a specific location that uh, that's magma slimes or magma cubes will spawn. I think, as far as I know, it's just random. They could spawn anywhere. It's kind of like pigmen. But maybe, maybe they just spawn by the fortresses? But at least I found another fortress, so that's good. 
There are a lot of pigmen around here. Holy crap, man. Let's see what's over here. Let's take a quick peek.